One of the problems for insects is that humans don't tend to notice if they're there or not. But if people don't start paying more attention, then the consequences could be catastrophic for all of us. In country after country, in Europe and beyond, there is evidence of bees, butterflies, moths and other species disappearing. That knocks on to the survival of birds, reptiles and fish, which live off the insects, up the food chain, it will inevitably affect humans. They pollinate 75% of the crops that humans grow, 87% of all plant species on the planet need pollinating. Um, so if the insects were to disappear, then most plants would go, all flowers more or less would go. They get rid of cow pats and dead bodies and keep the soil healthy and do a whole bunch of stuff. So essentially life on earth as we know it would come to an end if we didn't have insects. This part of England is only 60 kilometres south of London, yet it looks like a refuge for wildlife. But declining numbers seem to be everywhere. Measuring insect numbers isn't that straightforward. And one way it's traditionally been done is by counting up bug splats on a car windscreen. It used to be the case that if you drove around a part of England like this in the summer, by the end of the day your windscreen would be caked. Well, we've just spent most of the day in the car and there's barely a mark on it. The reasons for this aren't all known, though farmers are usually blamed for the widespread use of pesticides in modern agriculture. See, actually, the more time you spend out here, the more you look and see there are, that's, that's right, isn't there it? are actually insects yeah. everywhere. Yeah. While the UK is seen as badly affected, farmers here argue it is still possible to protect insects. In terms of crop rotation, it's really important to have that diversity in the landscape. So you can see here, we have uh, cattle grazing in fields here, uh, we have crops and we have lots of different types of crops, never have the same crop in the field twice, and then really try and minimise the, the use of the inputs we use. So we're really trying to minimise the use of insect, insecticides, for example, because clearly that's, that's going to be good for the environment, as well as having space around in all the trees and the hedgerows, all the margins you see. It's all that space for nature alongside growing food. A recent global study of insect decline suggested numbers halving every 25 years. That suggests it isn't too late to turn things around, but in the UK at least, the reason why people keep protesting is that it seems a priority for barely any politicians. Lawrence Lee, Al Jazeera, in Sussex.